Hey folks, Country Prepper here. So I'm out in the garage pressing a bunch of sheaths today and there's a lot of wait time doing that. So I was going through my bug out bag and there's a bunch of gear in there that I need to do videos on before I do the actual bug out bag video. That way you guys already know uh, what that piece of gear is and kind of why I carry it, why it's in my bug out bag. So the first thing I want to go over with you guys is my Beofang. UVB2 plus ham radio and the reason that I got this for my bug out bag anytime you go out and carry your bug out bag and I go out with mine every week or two go for a hike with it carry it for a few miles make sure I'm in good enough shape that I can actually carry the weight of it but if you go out and do that every now and then you will notice that you want to cut down on weight most of the time so anytime you can find a piece of gear that serves multiple purposes the better it will cut down on your weight drastically in no way am I an expert in ham radios uh, I, I'm still learning and uh, I actually have a question for you guys concerning ham radios for any of you guys out there that do have more experience with a ham radio and uh, maybe somebody can answer this for me I've seen it on uh, I saw it on a video or read it somewhere that you can program in the frequency of like your regular walkie-talkies two-way radios and be able to communicate with them and I'm just curious if that's correct if it is possible uh, I believe it's probably against FCC rules but uh, you know if it was a grid down situation without rule of law anarchy in the streets sort of deal uh, I really don't think the FCC is going to be bothering with anybody using a ham radio. So I'm just curious if that's possible. If anybody can answer that question, please let me know. I'm going to take it down to the, uh, I'll clean up my bench here and uh, take it down and kind of show you some of the things you can do with it. So there, it comes with this uh, cradle charger and it is just a desktop charger. Uh, I really wish that I had... Uh, uh, looked into this a little further because some of these ham radios you can get a uh, uh, charge you can charge them by USB but uh, so far as I know you can't on this one but uh, you can get backup batteries for it and things like that so I could have uh, a battery on the charger and then this in my bug out bag uh, at the same time but I do use it out here in the garage too and my bug out bag is out in the garage anyway so that my little girl doesn't get into it but uh, so I, I do use this since I've been working at night most of the time out here in the garage working on sheets and stuff. Um, I use this as a scanner most often and uh, I just have a couple, well, I have about a dozen uh, frequencies programmed into this. And let me turn this back down. Uh, there are a bunch of repeaters around the area for other ham radio operators for the signals to bounce off of. So I have those, but the two key ones here I have on channel 1 and 2, which I can just, if you see that little arrow, it's on 1 right now, and I can hit B and it'll just go right down to the next one. You can also, when you're in channel mode, uh, you can go up 1, 2, 3, 4, you know, all the way through. I think this thing has a hundred and yeah, 128 channels, so uh, more than enough channels to program in. But uh, that's just one function of it. Now, if you go over to frequency mode, and then I go down to B, uh, for it has an FM radio on it as well. So what you have to do is you have to find a channel where there's absolutely no. Uh, chatter going on at all you're not getting any kind of static or anything off of because when you use the FM radio trans uh, uh, function if if there's any kind of noise that comes across the channel that you were on it'll kick it back to that so here I have it on one of my favorite stations and then I go and shut it off and turn it the wrong way so as you can hear there's there's nothing going on on that channel and then you click that top button and there you go you got FM radio so and then if you want to tune into a different channel you could just plug it in with the keypad and there's another radio station in the area so uh, one, a couple other things that this has on it it does have a flashlight it also has a warning flasher and then I haven't quite figured out what the deal is with the uh, alarm on it but there, it has an alarm on it. God dang it, I keep turning that the wrong way.
There, there's the alarm again. So I don't know if that actually signals anything to anybody. I hope not. But uh, that, that channel has no uh, nothing going across it right now anyhow. So uh, hopefully that doesn't cause me any problems. Uh, it is dual band. Um, and wide band, narrow band. It has a high-low. Uh, you can select the power of it. So you, kind of a power saving function. Um, what else? I mean, it's got a ton of different functions. Uh, ten, uh, tone, end of transmission, so that means it beeps at you every time you uh, end your transmission, if you're talking on it. Um, the battery is supposedly, what it says is 4,800 milliamp hours. Uh, it is lithium ion. And then, let's see, the radio receiver is 65 to 108 megahertz. Um has the voice, the Vox option, voice operated transmission. Uh, showed you the alarm, showed you the radio, FM radio. Um, <clears throat> it has selectable frequency step uh, two and a half, five, six and a quarter, ten, and twelve and a, twelve and a half and twenty five kilohertz. Um, the Keyboard beeps every time you press a button on it. If something's, if anybody's interested in things like that, um, does have a, a scan mode on it. And what else? I'm just kind of looking through some of the features here. Uh, of course, and dual band with the LCD screen. I got all of the major uh, features that anybody be interested in. So, uh, like I was saying before. Let me turn this back up, if I can keep from turning it the wrong way and turning it off again. Channel mode. Here's the channel mode, and then... Frequency mode. There you go, frequency mode. Go channel back to mode. channel mode, and uh, take it up to channel one. That is the weather band that I have it uh, programmed into, and that's out of the closest city to me is Des Moines. So you kind of got to have, you have to go through... Uh, I'll, I'll leave a list of some different uh, websites that I went to to find my frequencies, but then you also have the second one is the uh, uh, sheriff's department for the area, which is about five, six miles away. So uh, I, I do pick that up very plain and clear. So this does have a pretty good range on it. So this came from Gear Best. And they have some really great prices on their ham radios. And uh, I will leave a direct link to this one in the description box below. Last time I looked, they were having a sale on it. I don't know if that's still going or not. But uh, they're having sales on gear all the time. So uh, you can always just add it to your wish list and uh, wait for it to come up on sale. Or they have a ton of different other radios out there that uh, uh, might suit your needs as well so uh, uh, you just have to kind of look through them and see which ones have the uh, best functions for what you want uh, the reason that I picked this one up was not only the price but uh, and the functions of it but uh, it just it was a good entry-level ham radio to get started and uh, make sure that it's something that uh, I was going to be able to pick up, be able to understand. I'm pretty tech savvy, but you never know. So anyhow, like I said, I, I thought it was a pretty good price and a good one to uh, get familiar with using ham radio. Check out all the links in the description box below. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.